everybody! Welcome to another episode, and today we'll be reviewing all the Transformers Bumblebees that I have. This is the 3 8 Transformers the last night. Bumblebee, there's his vehicle mode, there's some accessories, you got his helmet right here. This is the original 2007 Bumblebee. Uh, you got only his chest, here you have that. All you can see is chest. You got the DMK Untransformable Bumblebee. You got a, a, a Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee, which cannot transform too, isn't, and you can't move. You got Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. I forgot who made this. And now we come to the Dark of the Moon original Bumblebee. Here is the Transformers Masterpiece movie series Bumblebee, but this is the Wee Jiang version. And here we have the Crown Jewel, the Transformers Comic Cave Bumblebee. So, let's get into it. Since we don't know much about Bumblebee's origin before the war or what happened to him, I'm going to make my own origin story for him, combining many things together to make Bumblebee's origin story. Bumblebee was part of the second generation of Transformers. He was tasked to protect the temple which contained the cube until it was lost in battle. He then became an Energon scavenger until he was hired by the Autobots to scavenge for Energon. He and Wheeljack were captured by the Decepticons. Then Optimus Prime came in and saved them. When Optimus asked Bumblebee to join him, he refused because he didn't want to get tangled up in the battles. But he had but he had lots of sympathy and he had great leadership skills. And then Ultra Magnus was killed and the pro and the Alpha Triumph Protocols picked Bumblebee because of his sympathy and great leadership skills. Then he joined. After that, he became friends with Optimus Prime and admired his other Autobot friends. Now we're going to see the evolution of all the Bumblebee figures that I have. We're going to start with the Transformers 2007 Leader Class Bumblebee. You don't have any wrist movement, which is sad. You get it in the Masterpiece movie series. Uh, the, the legs lo don't look accurate because you got the wheels which are outside. They're supposed to be inside. Uh, what else? The, the chest plate um, looks good enough. You got the arm cannon. I wish you can switch it out because this happens. Boom, boom. I wish you can switch it out. Uh, you can put on his battle helmet. You can put down the, uh, the what do you call them again? The rockets. Whoop, that's how it works. Yep, that's him, and he's got a big pack backpack, which is kind of annoying. Then we go, then we come to which figure? I don't think I have a Revenge of the Fallen figure, I think this counts as the Revenge of the Fallen figure. Now we come to the Transformers Dark of the Moon, the leader class, Bumblebee with his jetpack and things. Okay, first thing, the chest uh, looks good enough. The, um... Uh, what else? You don't have a lot of detail. You got the, uh, the what they call it, the side skirt, I think. And you got the front part. He doesn't stand very well. And um, still, same problem with the wheels. No wrist movement and no interchangeable uh, gun. Okay, now we come to... Stop it. Now we come to the 3A. This was, af this was introduced after the 3A. So, 3A TLK Bumblebee, the best so far. Uh, you got the accurate face, the accurate faceplate from Transformers the last night. Yeah. You got wrist movement, interchangeable gun, as you can see he has another hand. Uh, the back, you don't have a backpack, of course, because he's untransformable. Far away accurate than anything. And now we come to the Transformers Masterpiece movie series, Bumblebee, who is, this is the Wei Yang version. Okay. You, you, the head looks very good. The ba there is no backpack. Finally, there is no backpack. Look, no backpack. You got the wheel, which is in the back, which is fantastic. You got the, uh, got his accurate face sculpt. You got the hammer for some reason, way you can put it. You got interchangeable hands. If you just remove this blaster part, <coughs> you can remove it. Trust me. And you got. Wrist swivel! Yay, we got this. And now we come to the Age of Extinction Bum Bumblebee from Comic Cave. He'll, he's very accurate, but he's old high cast and you can't move him very well. Uh, yeah, he's pretty awesome. 
I uh, like his uh, face, his helmeted face scope. That looks fantastic. It's, it is very accurate, and I love this thing for life. It looks so good. Now we come to the smaller figures. I don't know what this is, but uh, he's accurate. The wrist can move from this. Not much to say. This just stands on your desk. This is the DMK Bumblebee. Uh, a very accurate representation of Bumblebee in a small figure. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I can't say anything. And these are all the Bumblebee figures I've collected. I'm missing a few figures, like the Deluxe Class Bumblebees. I don't get those. And I'm missing the 3A Dark of the Moon Bumblebee because I couldn't get it. And Bumblebee was one of... My, my most favorite characters when I got introduced to the Transformers is one that introduced me. He has a Chevy Camaro. That's why I like Camaros. And I used to have this figure when I was small. I, when I transformed him into his vehicle mode, I used to make him a hot rod. The front part is like this, and the back part is up. And that's how I used to play with these toys. And yeah, he's one of my favorite figures. And now, we've just reached the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So you know whenever I make an episode, Bumblebee needs that. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Time to uh, destroy the Decepticons. Uh, I don't know how to move them out. Bye. <laughs>